Hi everyone, Jeffy here and welcome back once again to Around the World in Many Days. Uh, today we'll be doing a Tapa puzzle and a Sudoku. So this one is episode 36 and it's titled Roughing It Once More. Uh, thought I'd show you the grid first. So we have a blue, uh, blue and black numbers here and then some dotted lines. And we also have a couple of uh, crossword clues at the bottom there. So let's read the preamble. Two puzzles this time. So the numbers in the blue form a tapa puzzle. Uh, shade some cells in the grid so that the numbered cells correctly indicate the number and lengths of stretches of shaded cells uh, in the eight surrounding cells. For example, a one-two clue means there's one stretch of shaded cells of length one and one stretch of shaded cells of length two in the eight cells surrounding the clue. Number cells can't be shaded, and the shaded cells form an orthogonally connected area. No two by two area can be fully shaded. So those are just basic rules of Tapa. Nothing special there, and we'll look at look at that in the in the editable grid once we go through the preamble. But then we have the the rules of the other puzzle as well. So the numbered lines and letters in black form a crossword Sudoku. Type in the answers up to the crossword clue starting from the numbered cell. Note that this means that some answers are written upwards or right to left in the grid. Then fill the grid so that each row column and boldly three by three block three by three box contains the same nine letters once each. In the finished grid, the longest diagonal stretch of shaded cells spells out the final answer. Okay, so we're Input some some letters, and that forms the sort of uh, starting point for the Sudoku. And we've had this type of puzzle, I think, once before. And then the destination. Today I have spent some time, some more time, enjoying rugged wilderness. I have taken a wildlife bus tour around a vast nature preserve, and tried out the hiking trails to reach some of the more remote outlook spots. With incredible views. Can you guess where I am? Love Gladys. Okay, so we we were in a, in the wilderness last time, and the same same thing continues this time around. So some kind of nature reserve, nature preserve. So here we are. Let's open up the top of grid and go through the rules once again, so that we understand what we are doing. So this is this is the grid here, and we're shading some cells and. This three means that there's a stretch of three cells that's going to be shaded here and the others. Others are un unshaded. Now we don't know yet where it is, but it could be there, it could be there, or it could be there, for example. And then these multiple numbered cells just mean that there's, um, there are three different stretches of shaded cells. So this is one, this is one, this is one, and so forth. And Tapa is... Uh, Pretty similar to Nurikabe. If you remember, Nurikabe has that rule that you can't have these two by two areas shaded, and the same is true of Tapa. And another similarity uh, with Nurikabe is that the shaded cells have to have uh, have to be one connected area, so you can't isolate these shaded cells there, for example. And that's just the basic rules of Tapa. So let's take a look and and see where we could start with this one. So first of all, we know that these numbers are not shaded. So mark those as with this light green. And now, uh, what's the easiest place to start here? Um, here, uh, the three that, that I started with uh, only has three options. So it could be like this, could be like this, and could be like this. Common to those is that we can't, uh, we must shade this, this cell here. So that's common to all of those uh, possibilities. If you don't want to go through all the possibilities, an easier way to see it if, is if we make this unshaded, we can't make three shaded cells now. So that's why this must be shaded. Now, uh, if we had made very large numbers in the grid, we don't in this one, but if we had a seven, it would be very useful, or a four or five near the border, we don't, but we have to have to come up with something else here. And this one, uh, these three ones uh, in the corner limit the, the possibilities somewhat. So uh, 
whatever the one uh, one shaded cell is, it's, it's going to have um, unshaded cells next to it. And we can immediately see this is impossible because we can't connect it to these other shaded cells now. So we can't have a um, shaded cell here on its own. Can't have a shaded cell here on its own. This is impossible. And can't have a shaded cell here on its own because this again is isolated. So these all these three cells uh, must be sh uh, unshaded. And now if you look at these remaining uh, four cells, there's only one way to put three shaded cells here and it's this combination. One way to see it is where, where if you if we shade this, where are you going to put two more? You can't because there's only one cell left, so that can't be the shaded one. That would be one, two, and three. And once we have that, uh, this sort of combination for this one, 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 then that tells us uh, a lot more. So, for example, this now has only one place, one way to connect to the the others. That is to go this way. So we shade that one. This cell, same same thing. It has to grow somewhere. It can't be isolated, so it has to grow this way. And now, since we have this one two here, we see that that's already solved. We have a one here, so that must be. Um, oh. We have one here and two here, so we can't have any more shaded cells around this one, too. So we mark those as unshaded. Once we do that, this must still grow and this must still grow. And since this grows now, now we have one here in the middle, which is very powerful because now we have one shaded cell around it and all the others must be unshaded then. Gives us a lot of, uh, lot of cells with, for just this one. Now then, what else do we know? This three now. So we have one cell. We, we need two more. So it could be in this direction, could be in this direction, or one each. And those are the options. In either case, we can never reach these two. Because this would be four and this would be five. So these are must be unshaded, but we don't know whether the three continues this way or this way. Uh, except we actually do know, because if the three continued this way, then this would be unshaded and these would be isolated. We, there would be no way to connect these two to any of the other black cells. So we don't know we don't get this far. But even if we take this one and then complete the three this way, that's still too too little because we still can't reach any of the any of the other shaded cells. So this can't be shaded either, which means we have to go all the way here. And even here, we can't obviously isolate this even here. So this must go forward still. After we've done that, we notice that this three is now finished. We have three shaded cells in this surrounding uh, eight cells. And now, now these black cells need, need to get out. So the only way to connect is through here must go at least here but we don't know where they go from there now these black cells can't be isolated so we must continue in this direction and they then they must come out here somewhere uh, some way we don't know how exactly but we knew, do know something uh, so this two oh sorry so let's just uh, there's only one sort of place where they can um, how should I explain it? They must go take the, both both of these, and the way to see it is, if we make either of these cells uh, unshaded, then this is already isolated, uh, regardless of what we are going to shade here. They can't get out. And this same story makes a sort of unshaded wall that these can't go through. So both of these have to be shaded. Uh, yeah, another way to see it is maybe you have to cross this somehow because this is the only only sort of cell boundary that's not um, this is a cell boundary that that has to be crossed because all the others are already facing these walls of unshaded cells. In either case, we must shade these two, and since this is a two, now we know that all the other of the surrounding cells must be unshaded. And now we have these two 
cells here. If we shade either of them, uh, that shaded cell cannot connect to any of the other shaded cells. This would be isolated, and so would this, and so would this. So these both must be unshaded. And that solves this three now, because we only have two, two more cells, and we need two more to make up this three. So here we are. Now, from here, we need to reach down. This can't be unshaded. Now we are blocking off these shaded cells. So this must be shaded. And now we come to the rule that we can't make um, two by two areas fully shaded. So this can't be shaded. That's illegal. So that's unshaded. And these black cells must get out. So this is shaded. And again, we have a two by two. Can't be fully, sh fully shaded. So that's unshaded. So we are snaking our way out of uh, this corner here and simultaneously doing the same from here. And now these must connect somehow, connect to each other. They can't do it through here because th these are ones. So this would be a stretch of three already. And this would be the minimum to connect these two. Uh, minimum of these eight surrounding cells, I should say. So we can't connect them by uh, even by by shading two of these so can't go, go th through here um, and another way of seeing it is if we make this shaded for example uh, this can't be shaded because if we make this shaded that has to be a one and now it's immediately isolated so this is in fact unshaded which means that the only way to connect these uh, parts, these uh, sort of um, sort of um, shaded uh, areas of shaded cells, which are now separate, the only way is through this cell. If this cell was wasn't shaded, then we couldn't connect these. There would be no way to connect these because we have a sort of wall again here between them. So this is shaded. Now, since it is shaded, if we look at these at eight cells in the in the surrounding uh, surrounding this one one one, now this must be one of the ones. So this is unshaded and this is unshaded. And uh, since we need to connect these two, that means this has to connect both ways. It has to connect there and there, and it has to connect this way there and there. Now here we have a two by two can't be fully shaded so that's unshaded this cannot be shaded because that would be isolated an isolated shaded cell can't do that so that's unshaded and now we need two more uh, shaded cells for this one 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 only one way to do it here and here and the one between them is uh, is unshaded so now we're getting closer to connecting these two and um, the remaining two clues both give us something so this 111 was actually already done we have done all these eight surrounding cells but this um this shaded cell has to connect down because it um it can't be isolated only way to connect it to the others is through here and then two ways of doing it through this cell or through this cell but this three also gives us something so now we have two shaded cells that must be a stretch of three it can't grow in this direction so it must go here and the other others must be unshaded uh, now then two ways of continuing this stretch here if we do it like this if we uh, shade this one then this is unshaded to prevent the two by two shaded area and this is unshaded to prevent a two by two shaded area and all of a sudden we have isolated all of these black cells and we cannot reach these so to avoid that this can't be shaded this must be unshaded and now there's only one way to reach the others from these cells so here and here now we've connected through uh, this uh, this corner to all of these and we must connect these cells to the others as well so only the only way to do it is through here and that is in fact correct we should mark this as unshaded as well um yeah the, the answer check doesn't care if if you mark unchecked uh, unshaded cells or not but but we do so this is the correct grid for the top and now now this shading 
will become important once we have uh, the solution to the Sudoku. So let's look at the Sudoku then. Uh, so we had um, we have a Sudoku grid, but before we can start solving it, we need to insert the the crossword answers there. And we ha I have the the clues here. In a separate window, so we have eight eight crossword clues to uh, to fit into this uh, Sudoku grid, and they can go some of some of them go the right way as you would have in a normal normal crossword, but some of them, like this eight for example, goes backwards, and this seven goes backwards there. Just have to keep that in mind. So let's try solving these, keeping in mind that we are going to have to end up with uh, exactly nine nine uh, nine uh, different letters here so what's the best best place to start maybe number one impressive features of nazca uh, now nazca is a place in peru and uh, the reason it's famous is uh, or what it's famous for is uh, the nazca lines sort of uh, um, sort of um, drawings huge drawings on the on the ground that you can see from from a plane or something the nazca lines and i'm going to change colors again so blue and lines is our first answer and now we we can keep keep in mind that we're going to need some of these letters so um if we if we get stuck on on some of these answers we can Keep in mind what what letters we need to form those answers. So number two, CIA operations base, black something, um, and this would be a black site, sort of unofficial base, often I think overseas base, the CIA black site. So SITE is the answer to number two. And none of these clashes with the with what we have in the grid, so it looks good. Then we have Frasier's brother. Uh, this is from the TV show Frasier, uh, and the main character is Frasier Crane, and his brother is Niles Crane. So Niles is our answer here. Then we have four, which is a river in Siberia. Now ri Siberia has plenty of rivers, but we need a four-letter answer. So the sort of the big Siberian rivers are the Ob, which is only two letters, and then the Yenisei, which is seven, and the four letter one, which is the Liana. So here we are, Liana. And then we have number five, a high rank in several martial arts. And that's three letter three letters here. And that's going to be the Dan, D-A-N. You can have like first done, second done, so forth. Those sort of black belt, black belt titles, I think, um, which appear in several several different martial arts. Uh, the number six is Director Villeneuve. That's Denis Villeneuve. Denis with one N here, or Danny, I think. So that gives us a an N for this seven, uh, for this seven clue. So seven is uh, six letters long and ends in N. Brunei's ruler. That's the, just the title of the the ruler of Brunei, Sultan of Brunei. And then we have this long eight. Now the third letter is going to be S here. To surround with non-conducting material. And here we need a nine-letter answer, and all nine must be different because this has to be a value Sudoku, right? And we have all these letters, so we pretty much know, I think, all the letters that we're going to need. Just put them in the right order, you get the word insulated, which means, oh, where am I? Here I am. Okay, insulated is the, if something is surrounded with non conducting material, it is insulated. And let's just see that I got the right letters insulated. Looks good, yeah. Okay, so we're going to be working with the letters 
from the word insulated here. Now this Sudoku, once we have all these letters in the grid, shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see what the um, where to start with this one. Let me just select the correct tools for the Sudoku so I don't have to scroll back and forth if I can. So what do we have? Number, middle number, normal number, and uh, was it this not one, one out of four? Let's see. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so now we can look at the Sudoku again. Just don't want to scroll, uh, scroll up and then back, and every time I change the change what kind of uh, number I need to insert there. So uh, where do we start? This this box looks very very good. Like we have almost all the letters. We don't have an S, and the S can't go here. So the S has to go there. And then what do we have? Ins U is missing here from insulated. So there's the U. Then we have a couple of E's here and a couple of E's here. So the, the E in this box should be doable. Can't be on this line, uh, this row and this row. Can't be here and here, so must be here. And then this box also has uh, just three letters missing. So what are we missing? I. I can't go here because of this I and can't go here because of this I. So the only place for the I is here. Then the N is needed. The N can't go here, so that's the N. I and S, U, L, A, and T is missing. So that's the T then. And now both of these columns have two letters missing. So let's see. Insulated. Insul uh, so in T and E here. Don't know which ones uh, they are. Should be E, T, shouldn't it? Alphabetical order. Very important. Uh, so insulated, what are we missing here? I N S U L A D, isn't it? Don't know the order of those either. How about this box here? Uh, so the letters we need, I N S, we need U E D. U E D are missing, and we don't know where. Ah, we know where the E goes, because E can't be on this column. So the E must go there. And then the UD, I think we don't know. Yeah. And now this E gives us this. Uh, this can't be an E now. So it must be T, and this is the E. But still doesn't help us with this D and U. Let's see. Uh, what about this row here, only two letters missing. So insulated, I, N, S, U is missing, and U can't be here because one of these is going to be the U. So U goes there, L, A, and T is missing, so T must go there. Then we have, um, should we look at this, this row here? We need an I, I can't be here because of this I, it's in the same box. But I could still be neither of these. Then we have N, I, N, I, N, S is missing. S could go in any any of these places. And U is missing as well. U can't go here. And I can't go here. So the S is the only letter that goes here. And I and oh, you can't go here either because one of these is going to be U. So you must be here. I must be here. And that feels this entire row here. And now this box is missing one letter, which is S, is it? And this box is missing S and D. No, it's not. S is there. I and S, U, L, A, D are missing. And we don't know where those, those go. Similarly to this one. All right, then we have uh, these two letters are going to be I and we need an S, U, S, L, right? There's no L here. Yeah, so the L can't go the, there, it must be here. Oops. There we go, and the S must go there. And then these two from this column, 
So we don't have an I in the column. I N S U L A T E. I and D are missing. This can't be an I, so that's the D, and this must be the I then. And then this column, or this box, uh, I mean, either way, I N S, so we need a U, U A T are missing. So this can't be a T, so it must be A or U. U A A U T. Uh, T. So this can't be a U, so that's an A or T. This can't be an A, so that's a T or U. Knowing we still can't... Yeah, still can't resolve these. I'll have, th uh, have two options and nothing rules. Anything out from, from the others. Uh, should we look at this row here? So we need an I and... Is it D? ID? So I can't be there because of this I. So that's the D and this is the I. And th that D solves now this. This can only be A and this can only be D. And uh, then we have two Ds here. So none of these can be D. And we have two Ds here. So no none of these can be D. So this is the only place for the D now. Uh, now in this column, we have I and S, we don't have a U, A or T. So this must be U or T. U, A, T, so this must be U or A, because this, this can't be T. And U, A, T, this can't be T, so this is A or U. But now since we have a, a U pair here, this is going to take up the U. Either one is, uh, either one of these, these can be U, but one of them is going to be U. So this must be T then. And this must be then U. Now the U was taken, so this is A, this is T, this is U, and this is A. And this, this A fixes these, so this is D and this is A, and this D forces this to be U and this D. Now, only one letter missing here. What's that? I, uh, is it N? N here. Then we have I, N, S, U, L. We need an A here. And we need um, I, N, S, U. We need an L here. Okay, and now just this, this uh, two by two in the corner. So what do we need? We need an I, we need N, so N can't be these, and it can't be here, so N must be here, then we need a uh, U, so U can't be here, and U can't be here because of this, so U must be there, L now can't be there, must be there, and must, uh, T is the missing letter, so there we are, and that is in fact correct, as we see. So that was the sort of normal Sudoku, uh, once, once we've Filled in the grid with the, with the crossword answers, I think not so tricky. And now, what did the rule say? Uh, yeah, so the longest stretch of diagonal, uh, let's just see the, the preamble, what was it? It was a specific thing to look at in the grid. So in the finished grid, the longest diagonal stretch of shaded cells spells out the final answer. Now we need to look at the look at the top answer to, to find the longest stretch of, of shaded cells uh, diagonally. So it's going to be either here or here. Let's see. So this is um sorry one two three four five six so this is the longest stretch diagonally this would only be four cells long and this three and this three. So this this six letters. So we need to start from this uh, number four from the from the bottom, and go sort of northeast there, all the way to the the edge of the grid. So if we do that in the in the Sudoku grid, we should be able to. Uh, let's see. So number four here, this one, and then go northeast. So we get D. E-N-A-L-I, and that is 
the final answer that is our destination, Denali Nature Preserve. So let's look up what that is. Uh, so, so many tabs open. Uh, so here we are, Denali National P Park and Preserve. So the, the area surrounding the, the biggest mountain in the US, in, in Alaska. And this is what we're looking at. That's the, the mountain itself. And then there's a sort of uh, forest surrounding, surrounding the mountain. And let's look up, look at the map then. So last time we were in Canada, we were in Dawson City, right on the, almost on the Alaskan border. And now we're in Alaska, Denali National Park. So here we are, pretty much gone through all of the Americas from here, from the southern tip of Argentina all the way to Alaska. And this is the, the trip so far in its entirety. And you might think we are almost, almost done, but if you look at it like this, this is what we still have to cover, all, all this area. So almost halfway there, but but still a long way to go. So I hope you enjoyed that one. That was episode 36. Now episode 37 is going to be, it's an aquarium puzzle, and then we have a crossword as well. And uh, that is going to be called, do I know that? I should, but I've forgotten. So scroll down. It's going to be called Musk Oxen and Arctic Foxen. So I'll see you guys for episode 37. And for this one, thanks for watching.